Tyler at DIY here along with Zach and today we're going to show you how to replace the front wheels on this front wheel drive Toro Recycler Smart Stow Mower. Oh, yeah. So the first step to any lawnmower repair is what Zach? Uh, take out the spark plug. Yeah, just for safety. I might It might be overkill with some people but we take out the spark plug here. So go ahead and do that bud. Just pull it right off the spark plug, that little boot, and then you're all set. There'll be no false starts here at all. Second step is we're gonna tilt the mower over. I like to make sure I have the least amount of gas that I could possibly have. So I've already emptied this out the best I can. And we're gonna tilt the mower towards the carburetor side, which is opposite of the exhaust. I'm gonna tilt it over like so. This should take a 13 millimeter socket and i like using a socket because then you could do the ratcheting with it and it might be on there pretty tight we're gonna put it on there and what is it lefty lucy. lefty lefty lucy all right you can see that it's not budging at all so we might have to get some wd-40 in there so we just loosen up this bolt right here and again i use some wd-40 it's been on there since i bought it so it's about time we change it all right zach do the rest loosen it all the way up now what you're gonna do is you're gonna push up on the wheel really easy you'll see there's a sprocket there along with this backing thing which will float all around we're just replacing the wheel though because it's really heavily worn down so we're gonna take the screw out of the middle and you can see that it's oiled up pretty good so you're gonna get your fingers a little dirty here and uh, we'll get the new wheel in there if you're looking for the part number it is 137-4832 and that's for one eight inch wheel you can buy them in quantities of two together we'll leave a link in the description below so that you can do that i just want to show you that if you go to toro's website you check up your model number you look at your serial number which is found underneath the rear door you can find all the parts that you need here so the uh, wheel is part of the front there and it gives you all the part numbers but that's where you find the information new wheel goes on the same way really easy now we make sure that the teeth are in to the little drive wheel right here we make sure that the washer's in the middle with the hole and we're going to stick the screw in the new wheel and put it in the middle there making sure that it fits in there and we'll tighten it down by hand at first making sure that we don't strip any threads and then we'll get zach over here to finish it up one more time 13 millimeter socket wrench i already pre-loosened it but uh Hey, how about we get Zach to do the rest? All right, Zach, try lifting up that wheel with two hands. And there you go. It takes it right off. And again, we have this back plastic piece along with the drive wheel. We'll leave this in the center and we'll screw in the new wheel over there. Again, you're going to use the old little sprocket there. It is oiled. You can oil it again if you want to. I'd probably use some lithium grease or something, but I'm lazy. So I'm just going to put it in here. Bam, goes through the other side and we're gonna screw it right back in that hole. And I will start screwing in by hand, so that way I don't strip any threads whatsoever. Nice and tight. Yeah, good job. High five. Just remember that you unplug the spark plug, so before you start the lawnmower, we have to plug it back in. Go ahead, Zach. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you and have a great day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric. 5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.